Hello Curious and welcome back to our channel. It is almost undisputed that where golf is concerned, Tiger Woods is one of the greatest players in the world and he has been for quite a long time. But after the most recent accident that the player has been involved in, as well as others in the past, fans, as well as sports journalists alike, are wondering whether this could possibly be the end of his career. What happened with the most recent accident and how is Woods doing? What other injuries did he suffer throughout his career? How big of a fortune did he manage to amass during his time as a pro athlete? And could this truly be the end for him as a professional golf player? Stay with us until the very end, but before we continue, don't forget to turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos. The year 2019 was an incredible comeback for Tiger Woods. Prior to it, he had suffered a back injury that many had claimed would end his career, but he proved them all wrong by fully recovering and winning the Masters tournament that same year. And so, once again, he was back in the form that captivated a nation for all those years. Though not all things were as good as they seemed, as after a year of fits and competitions, that didn't bring him any major victories, on January 19th he had announced that he had undergone another spinal procedure that would keep him out of the competition until later this year. Though following the recent accident that involved Tiger, fans are worried that he won't compete this year at all or that this could be the end of his career. As per media reports, the incident in question happened about 7am Pacific time near the border of Rolling Hills Estate and Rancho Palos Verdes which is the coastal suburb in Los Angeles. The accident occurred on a twisting and winding stretch of road where the speed limit was 45 miles per hour. Alex Villanuevo, the Los Angeles County Sheriff, spoke about the incident at a news conference, revealing that Woods had been traveling at a greater speed than normal when he lost control of his vehicle, hit a curb and a tree before rolling several times. According to reports by TMZ, first responders had to use the jaws of life to help get the athlete out of his vehicle. Internet users were quick to pin the blame on high percentage beverages or illegal substances, given that it wouldn't have been the first time that the golfer was arrested and charged with a DUI back in May 2016, when police stopped him and toxicology results revealed that traces of five illicit substances were found in his body. However, with this incident, the county sheriff was also quick to point out that he did not seem impaired, meaning no other substances were to be blamed for it. He added that the area has a high frequency of accidents and that they were not uncommon. At around 12.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, a statement appeared on Tiger's official Twitter account, which announced that he had undergone a long surgical procedure on his lower right leg and ankle. The statement also reassured fans that the player was currently awake, responsive and recovering in his hospital room. And while many take that as a good news, it is raising concerns over his health and ability to continue competing as a professional, given the number of accidents that he had gone through before, which we will talk about in a moment, so make sure you stay with us. Tiger Woods had been playing as a pro golfer since 1996, however his journey with the sport began before he was even two years old. He was born Eldrick Taunt Woods on December 30th, 1975 in Cypress, California. His parents were Earl and Cultida Woods. He was the couple's only child, but he does have two half-brothers and a half-sister from his father's first marriage. His father was a retired US Army officer and Vietnam War veteran, who reported having African-American, Chinese and Native American descendants. His mother, on the other hand, was originally from Thailand, which is where she met her husband in 1968. She is of mixed Thai, Chinese and Dutch ancestry. Growing up in Orange County, Woods was a child prodigy whose father had introduced him to golf before the age of two. Since his father was a member of the military, it meant that he had playing privileges at the Navy golf course beside the Joint Forces training base in Los Alamitos, which allowed young Tiger to play there. His achievement started as early as the age of three, when he shot 48 over 9 holes at the Navy course. Two years later, aged five, he made an appearance in Golf Digest and on ABC's That's Incredible. Before he even turned seven, Woods had won the under age 10 competition part at the Drive Pitch and Put competition. So as you can see, Curious, people had good reasons to call him a child prodigy. But that wasn't all. In 84, at the age of 8, he won the 9-10 boys event at the Junior World Golf Championships. He went on to win that competition six times, which included four consecutive wins between 1988 and 1991. That same year, he was named Southern California Amateur Player of the Year, the second year in a row, and Golf Digest Junior Amateur Player of the Year. The following year, he competed in his first PGA Tour event and once again had more praise coming his way, as once again Golf Digest named him the Amateur Player of the Year, as did Golf Week, National while Golf World had named him as their Player of the Year award. Before going pro, he would win many more junior championships and gain more praise, but going into detail would require a separate video for it, if not two. In 94, Woods graduated from high school and due to his talent in golf, he was highly recruited by college golf powers, though in the end he chose Stanford University. He left college after two years in order to turn professional in the golf industry. In 1996, the same year he turned pro, Woods moved out of California, the reason for which he revealed in a 2000 
2013 interview, and it was all because of the state's high tax rate. When he turned pro, almost immediately he signed an advertising contract with Nike and Titleist, which at the time were seen as the most lucrative endorsements in golf history at that time, and which, according to a Golf Digest article, was worth $60 million. As we could have devoted an entire separate video about his junior achievements, we could safely dedicate at least two of them to his career as a pro. Due to sum it up, his achievements include 15 professional major tournaments, 81 PGA Tour wins, 41 European Tour wins, and 5 Master wins. At age 24, being the youngest to win a career Grand Slam, and you know, things were only getting better and better for him when Golf Digest had called him golf's first billion dollar man, since at one point his career earnings topped $1.5 billion. Though in 2007-2008 period is when the athlete's health problems had begun, and some of which had affected his career. At first, in 2008, he was forced to take a two-month layoff between a runner-up finish at the Masters and the US Open to undergo arthroscopic surgery to repair the cartilage in his left knee. As it later turned out, Woods had stressed fractures to his left tibia, but even that, with the damage and severe knee pain, he battled through to claim the last of his major victories at the US Open that very same year. After that, the world's number one golf player had to take time off to recover. After nine months, he was back, but in May 2010, he had to miss several days of the championship due to a stiff neck, which later turned out to be an inflamed joint. After that, every year that he competed, Woods has suffered through some injury which at times had made him pull out of certain competitions. But it wasn't until 2014 that he had back surgery for a pinched nerve that had been troubling him for quite some time. Then back spasms and pain would plague the player regularly, which resulted in more surgeries to his back as well as on his knee. In 2017, Woods had revealed that he was unsure if he would ever return to playing competitively in his career again, and while he did make a comeback following his most recent accident, fans are worried that this could be the end of the pro golfer. However, while looking at Tiger's health and career problems, it can't be said that his personal life was free of them either. In November 2003, he became engaged to Ellen Nordegren, who was a former Swedish model. The pair married a year later on October 5, 2004. In 2006, they had purchased a $39 million estate in Jupiter to Ireland, Florida, and began constructing a 10,000 square foot home in which, according to reports, Woods still resides. A year after purchasing their estate, the couple welcomed their first child, a daughter they had called Sam Alexis, and later in 2009, the couple had a son called Charlie Axel. That very same year, the National Enquirer published a story that claimed that Woods had an affair with an NYC nightclub manager, Rachel Uchitel. However, she had denied those claims. Two days after the story was published, Tiger was driving back home when he had collided with a fire hydrant, a tree and several hedges, not far from his estate. The athlete was treated for minor facial lacerations and received a ticket for careless driving. Of course, the media were quick to speculate on what had happened, which led to Woods releasing a statement saying that he took full responsibility for it and called it a private matter. In December that same year, Us Weekly had reported on a series of voicemail messages allegedly left by Woods to his mistress. After that, more women had come forward and claimed in various media outlets that they had affairs with the sportsman, which prompted him to release another statement in which he admitted to infidelity. In days that followed, many companies had dropped their partnerships with him, such as Gatorade and General Motors, who completely ended their sponsorship deals, and Gillette, who suspended advertisement featuring the player. A 2009 study had estimated that the shareholder loss caused was to have been between $5 billion to $12 billion. Many of his past scandals, as well as his career, were discussed in a miniseries HBO documentary Tiger, which aired earlier this year. And while the golfer denied requests on his part participation due to contractual conflicts, the documakers relied on hours of archive footage. If you want to know more about other stars who lost their jobs due to their behavior, you can do so by clicking on the link above. In 2010, Woods gave a televised statement in which he admitted that he had taken a 45-day therapy program and once again apologized for his actions, blaming these temptations on money and fame. Ellen and Woods ended up getting divorced on August 23rd that year. Since then, he has dated Olympic gold medal skier Lindsay Vonn between 2013 and 2015, though in November 2017, he announced that he was in a relationship with restaurant manager Erica Herman. Despite him losing some sponsorships in the past, Woods still has an impressive net worth. According to an article by Express, his net worth is valued to be around $800 million with an annual salary of $50 million. And whether the recent accident will cause him to retire or not, it can easily be assumed that he will have some money to fall back on without having to worry too much about it. So curious, did you know about all the health problems that Woods has had in his career? Did you know that he started his journey with golf at such a young age? Are you a fan of him or the sport? Let us know in the comments below and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.